Hi friends, so we've already talked about shapes and forms. Today we're gonna do kind of an activity and we're gonna make sort of like a diagram with shapes and forms, but we're gonna use some art with it too. So let's first talk about what is the difference between shapes and forms. If you remember, shapes are 2D, which are flat objects. And so these are all examples of geometric shapes, which have a name. So this is a triangle, a square, and a circle, and they're flat. If we were to hold them up and look at them on their side, they would look flat. But forms, forms pop out. They're three-dimensional or 3D. And here are some examples of some geometric forms. This is a pyramid and a cube and a sphere. What we're gonna do today is you are going to pick one geometric shape. You can use one of these, like a triangle, square, or circle, or you can pick a different one. But remember, geometric shapes have names. So if it doesn't have a mathematical name, then it's not a geometric shape. So let me give you an example of one that is not. This is a shape, but this is kind of a blob shape or an organic shape. That would not work. So you're gonna pick something that is a geometric shape, and then I'm gonna show you the activity that we're gonna do with it today. We're gonna turn it into shapes and forms, okay? Here we go. Okay, friends, so we've got a lot of different supplies that we're gonna use today. We're gonna need colored pencils. I'm gonna give you a little bit of something called model magic, which is kind of like an air dry clay. And then also we're gonna need a regular writing pencil. So I'm gonna push some of these things out of the way. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our white sheet of paper and we're gonna divide it up into three sections. And the way that we're gonna do this is we are going to make a line that goes like about your hand length. You're gonna draw a line down and then you're gonna leave a little space and then you're gonna draw another line. So we need two lines with three spaces and they don't have to be perfectly even, but you wanna to try to make them about the same size. If you make a mistake, you can flip it over and you can try it on the back, but mine looks pretty good, so I think I'm gonna get started. So what you're gonna do in the first box is you're going to think of a shape and I've given you some examples, but we want it to be a geometric shape. It needs to be like a circle or a square or a rectangle or a diamond or a triangle, things like that. I think I'm gonna do a circle in mind. So what I want you to do with your pencil is I want you to draw the neatest circle that you can or whatever your shape is that you picked today. And if you draw it and you go, mm, I don't really like it, you can always try to erase it. If you need to borrow an eraser from me, that's okay. But we wanna try to make this look as good as possible. So here's my circle. That's pretty good circle, okay? And what I'm gonna do at the top, I'm gonna write shape because it's flat, okay? And then I'm going to write what the name of that shape is. So this is a circle. If you're not sure how to spell it, you can check with me or you can try to sound it out. And then in the next space, this is where we're gonna do something with um, making it into a form. So if I were to have a circle, and I were to make it into a form, which means it pops out, it's gonna be 3D, but I need to draw this. So the way that we're going to do it, there's a lot of different ways, but with a circle, when we turn it into a 3D object, it becomes a sphere. Well, if I go to try to draw a sphere, it looks pretty much just like a circle. So something that we have to do to make it pop out is we have to add some value to it. And depending on your shape, you might need to add value in different places. But for this one, I'm gonna add value by making my pencil like darker in some places of my circle to make it kind of look like it's 3D and it's popping out. So I'm gonna press down kind of dark in a curve. Notice my lines are not straight. And if you're not sure how to do this with another shape, you can copy off of my sphere and my circle here. But I'm gonna kind of curve my lines around. Notice how they're kind of round, almost like you're drawing a crescent on to your circle, okay? Kind of like a moon shape down here. And then I'm gonna keep doing a crescent, but now I'm gonna make it a little lighter, and I'm doing this all with a pencil to start with. So I'm gonna do just kind of a medium value, not pressing too hard. And I'm gonna make it kind of round. I made it straight here, so I need to make it more round. Round it up. And I'm gonna kind of curve and follow that outline as I go around, because I want it to be round. Okay, I'm gonna follow that over here. I have a medium 
value. And for the rest of it, I'm gonna make it pretty light. Okay, so kind of a dark, medium, and light. And this is all with my pencil to kind of make it look like it's 3D or it's popping out. And I'm gonna kind of make those lines round as I go out. All the way to a little white space, like a little white glow on it. Notice how it's starting to look like it's round. I'm also gonna add a little shadow at the bottom so it looks like it's kind of popping out, okay? See how I did that? Now it's 3D. When it's 3D, we don't call it a circle anymore. We call it a sphere, okay? Or if it was a square, it might be a cube. If it was a rectangle, it might be a rectangular prism. And if it was a triangle, it might be a pyramid. So you'll have to figure out what it's going to be. But here, instead of a shape, I'm gonna write form. And remember, a form is 3D. So I'm gonna write that up at the top. The last part is where we get to actually make our 3D form, but this is actually gonna pop out of the page. This is just to make it look like it pops out of the page, but here we're gonna make it actually pop out of the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this up. For you guys, I'm not gonna give you a whole thing. I'm just gonna give you maybe about half of a piece here. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna have to form this into your middle box. Whatever you made here and you made it 3D, you're gonna have to make it into that shape. So for a sphere, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the palms of my hand. That's the middle part of your hand, not where your fingers are, but the middle part. And with both of my hands, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna kind of put my fingers back and I'm just gonna kind of rub them around into circles until it form, forms a sphere. So I'm gonna do that over and over and over again until I've got a really good sphere, okay? And then here, I've got my good sphere, and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on that white sheet of paper. But the problem with this is, is my white paper and my white form or my sphere don't really show up very well. So what I'm gonna do is with a color, I'm gonna color this in a color, whatever color you want, okay? And that's what the colored pencils are for. Just so your 3D shape, which becomes a form, right? We don't call it a shape anymore. Your 3D shape is actually a form. It's gonna pop out of the page and you'll see it in just a minute. So I'm just gonna color in this space, okay? ends, I might have to go off like this. Color that all in. And when you color a lot, sometimes you have to stop and you have to sharpen your pencil because it makes it flat. So if you need to do that, that's okay. I'm gonna save those pencil sharpenings off to the side. Okay, and I'll throw those away in a little bit. And color that all in. I'm gonna hold my paper so I can color off the ends. Here I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm just gonna go off one direction. And again, is this gonna be a shape or a form? Let's think about that. Is it 3D and it pops off the page or it looks like it pops off the page? Yeah, it actually pops off the page, so it's a form. So it actually has the same name and the same thing you're gonna write in the middle, you're gonna write at the top here, okay? So when you turn this in, you're gonna set that right in the middle, okay? And you don't wanna squish it too much, we want that to be a nice sphere. And then at the top, I'm gonna write form, and you can write right over the top of your color pencil. I'm gonna write 3D, because it pops out, and then this is called a sphere, okay? So when you are finished today, you're gonna to have your shape, which is gonna be flat. Give it a name. What is the name? Is it a rectangle? Is it a square? Is it a circle? Then in the middle, you're gonna draw it 3D. If you need help with this, because there's a lot of different ways to do this, you can ask me, but you are gonna to need to add some value, which means you're gonna to have to color it a little bit with your pencil. Don't forget you wanna color it with your pencil. You're gonna give it a name and you're gonna write form. And then you're gonna write the same thing in this space. You're gonna color it in with your color pencil and you're gonna to have to actually create your form, your 3D form with your Model Magic Clay today, okay? 
I forgot about this. When you are finished, don't forget to write your name and class code on the back. And then when you are done today, you're gonna take a picture of this. Make sure to set your actual form on top and we will take a picture of that today. Um, but that's all we're gonna do today. So you can go ahead and get started, my friends.